Hi and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> so in my last video I was saying about doing these craft pads. So this is my next one, which I said in my last video, which is Penguin Party. But before I go on to that, I would just like to say thank you to everybody for all your support and messages. I do get back to them and I do appreciate every single one of my subscribers, new ones as well. Um, just hope you're liking what you're seeing, what I'm doing. Um, I just need to clarify that I just do this in my spare time. I do not get paid for doing these videos. Um, it's just something that I love doing and I love working with hunky dory kits. So anyway, so this penguin party deluxe craft pad. So I have a think about three toppers left in this one and I've already pre-cut all the um, cardstock that I'm going to be using for these ones. I just have to remind myself of what they are. So this one is, oh, my fingers are not working again. These are all silver foil so that's why I'm using silver mirror. And the silver mirror that I'm using was a oversized um, silver mirror cardstock from Hunky Dory. And then I've got these four toppers on here. So my idea for these was, let me just have a look. That one goes to that one, that one, and then that one, and then that one. So these two here are the two that I'm going to be using this one and the one with the snow globe on so it matches that one, that one matches that one and then these ones, this one I was using for this top one this one I'm using for this one and I think I was going to be doing a um, little 5x5 five five card I think it was with a cutaway on so that's that one, just going to layer that over there that's for that one so that go there and then these two here are for these two so the first one I'm going to do is this one here I best take my papers out from underneath so I'm going to use this one with the garland not garland the what are they called reef if I can get this one out So, and I put that over to the side because I don't need that for the minute. And then I'm just going to take this away if I can. Which I can. So, and take this little frame out. And I think these cards were seven by seven, so I'm just getting this bit ready. And I don't need the little silver frame. I've got really itchy hands. The reason being is because I've just been cleaning the bath. So. That is why my hands are a bit itchy because I've been using bleach. So yeah, so these two cards are a seven by seven. So these are just going to be a normal seven by seven tent fold. The cardstock that I'm using is cut from an A3 sheet of 300 GSM from Craft UK, which I brought on Amazon. I'm just scoring that down there. I don't want to score it too much on there because it gets the lines from that trimmer, and not trimmer, from the scoreboard if I do it on there. So I'm going to come away from there and score this down properly. 
or burnish it down properly I should say so that is that bit and I'm going to come in with my two bits of card I'm just going to turn that over so it doesn't blind you so in my last also in my last video I was saying about that I get sore hands quite a bit and when I say sore hands I do really mean really sore angry nasty horrible um, skin complaint on my hands which I've been to the doctors and the doctors told me that it's contact dermatitis but saying that I don't really know what is the cause of the contact dermatitis or what brings it on and sometimes crafting this or doing any kind of housework does make them sore so these have got better over the last couple of days it's hard to pick up on this camera how bad they get but you can see where here it's like brown and then the red is where the new skin is same as on this one and they're starting to go up my thumb this thing middle finger this finger this one and it goes up to there there and there and all around the palm same as this one all around the palm um, so that's why I can't do a lot of sometimes I can't craft every week um, because of that that's why I have to do a lot of bulk videos or bulk recordings as I should say on like my days off so that I get a week's worth of videos going up and I get in front a little bit so that if I decide to take time out from making cards and making videos then I can go do that and go on to do my other vid um, other videos my other hobby that I have which is diamond painting which to be fair in about a year I haven't really done any diamond painting because I've been focusing all my time on making cards um, and doing videos for that for my channel um, and so I need to get some time for just sitting and chilling on a day off rather than constantly doing videos so that's why I've decided now is the time that I'm going to be doing something other than just card making with my days off part in between doing housework so yeah so anyway enough rambling it's like right, just having a drink coffee because I've just made it after doing the bath my hands are a bit itchy because I've been using bleach I can still smell it on me so right for this one I'm thinking of doing now I haven't done one for a little while so this might not work or it might be a bit of trial and error and I need to get a few bits out in a sec so this one I'm just going to place this on here and then place that onto there like so and then place that onto there so while I'm sorting something out I'll carry on ch chatting away to you and saying to you that um, this card so the silver mirroring is done two notches under the seven and the cardstock is it's got excuse all the rustling, rustling and the cardstock is four notches under the seven both ways I don't know if I'm going to need a big bit so I'm just going to take out a couple of pieces of this snowfall acetate which is from Hunky Dory and I'm so sorry about all the noise when I'm trying to talk and explain the card at the same time as pulling out other bits and pieces um, not very organised when I'm doing 
my cards to be honest so anyway let's have a look at this see if that bit's going to be big enough or this bit even yeah so these this bit is going to be fine i'm going to cut that off after i have laid it down onto my um acetate so i'm just going to come in with a bit of red liner tape and hopefully this will go around the corner and I can do it all in one rather than cutting it and doing it again so just go around the frame of this one and bring it back down to meet down there put it back just slightly so you can snip it off with any luck there we go I'm going to put that to the side for the moment and then hopefully I can pull this back in off in one might have to burnish it might have to burnish it down just a tad because sometimes this does have a tendency of moving or not moving it does have a tendency of pulling the back in when you pull the back in up it's pulling the tape up as well which then pulls the back ins off of the frame on here see if I can get this off now in one movement which did come off pretty quick pretty good so now I'm just looking to see which way around I want this acetate. I'm going to place that hopefully straight ish so it sticks to that. As I say, it's hard to see the acetate with the glass mat that I've got there. So I'm just going to try and snip this from underneath. Might have to go this way. Because obviously I don't want all of that acetate. I'm trying to get under the frame. I'm going to have to cut it off and then go back in. Oops, with my scissors. Afterwards, that acetate is going to be no good for nothing now. So... What I might have to do is try and bend it back a little bit so that I can get my scissors around it. Get your nose now. Okay. I don't think it's going to be perfect but I'm trying not to cut my frame because the last thing you want to do is cut the frame so I'm just going to lift this up a little bit see if I can get my scissors under this one proving to be difficult to be fair Hopefully this would not show so much on the opposite side. It looks, e it looks easier. Well, it looks not easier when I see other people doing it. But hey ho. Sometimes the other thing is just to, um, I'd say, 
mark it and then cull it before you stick it down might be the best solution but we'll make this work or I'll make this work I should say so I'm just going to throw the excess bit in the bin out of my way I've got a little bit over there it's a bit jagged I'm going to try and come in with my knife without cutting through that frame with any luck not very easy you need a pair of intricate um, a very thin pair of scissors to be fair which are for small If you have too much overhang on it, it's not going to look or sit flat on the card once you go to put your okay. It's probably the best I'm going to get it. The next one I'll do, I think I'll um, cut the acetate first before I stick it on just to make it a little bit easier for myself. I'm going to put these scissors back because otherwise I'll end up um, losing them. So now the tricky bit. So I'm going to peel this off. I've got acetate here there and everywhere. And peel this one off. Peel that off. Bring my card back in. Just going to put some sticky onto there and this is going to go about I've got a member to leave room for my frame so that is going to go there and then this is going to go over the top but I need that to have a foam strips around it so I might have to bring out some hunky dory ones which I've got some here somewhere thin ones <coughs> dear coughing because of the bleach smell from the bathroom so I'm gonna come in with a few foam strips I'm gonna go as so the thing with this is you have to butt them up because otherwise you don't have the gap and all your um, things that you're using in there to make the shaker will come out. So just going up to them corners, making sure it sticks down as best as I can get it. Do this side, use this little bit, hopefully that's going to be enough. Peel these off. And hopefully that's going to work on this card. 
because I think I should have put this down flat to be fair. <coughs> oh dear. I'm really coughing today. And I've got some of these iridescent, I don't know what you want to call them, circle things. I'm not going to put too many in there because I don't want it to be too fat. I think that should do it. There's one escaping. Two more escaping. And then um, these I got from Wil uh, Wilco's, the works. So now I'm going to place this on. I'm going to straighten it up a little bit. Although that doesn't look straight now, you will have to do, and then hopefully, I don't know if it's going to shake though, oh yeah, oh no, it's all coming out. So that shaker, I should have put a like, uh, card, I should have done differently to that. It's all coming out, I've got a little hole somewhere. I don't know, that's alright. I think I put too much of the shaker stuff in there really, but never mind. Next one will be different. I'll do the next one differently, I think. So anyway, for this one, I need a sentiment. So I'm going to come in with a Christmas wish from me to you, I think. Or have yourself a cosy little Christmas. Yeah, I think I'm going to come in with that one. It kind of matches what's going on on this card, and I've lost my other little strip foam pads. Yeah, so I think the next one, so this two videos are going to be both shaker cards. So the next one I'm going to do slightly different. It's been a while since I've made a shaker card, to be funny, to be honest. So. I'm going to do the next one slightly different. So this one's going to come sit down here. And then I just need to put some gems on that one. Which I'm probably going to come back in with these ones I used on my last video. And they've got some nice like pale blue ones in here. So I think I'm going to come in with them ones. I'm going to do one up this side. And then a couple just down the bottom here. And I had my pokey tool, which I've got. Or well, my picky up tool, I should say. So these ones are a very pale blue. Very nice. And again, more awkward to pick up out of this tub. Thing is, by the time I get some of these out, they I've got too many out. No, I haven't I've got the right amount out. But turning them over is another um, hard. Managed to get them turned over, and then that one there, put that one there, and I think that's it. That, that card didn't turn out very, very well, but 
you get the idea of a shaker card. So the next one, as I said, I'm going to do that a little bit different to how I've done this one. And hopefully get the thing on a bit straighter as well. So I'm just going to put that to the side. And then I'm going to come back in with my second card. I'm just going to grab a card blank. And down the side of me. Grab my scoreboard. Score at seven. So this is the same as the previous card with the card blank and then fold it over score it down and then burnish it down there just going to remove my scissors there's a bit of acetate that I'm going to do for this card Move that out of the way. There's another bit of acetate there which I might have to use eventually. And then this is the same as before, same as the other card. Four notches under the seven for the top piece of card, printed card, and then two notches under the seven for the silver mirror. And then, as you always, all purpose and tacky glue. So tacky glue in the four corners, all purpose all around the card, middle of the card. Place this onto there, like so. Make sure this is tent fold. And then the same again. All down the middle, tacky glue in the corner, and then make sure it's still tenfold. Place that down onto there. Excuse me. Grab up my topper. Out of there. Pull my bigger frame off, and then the little tiny frame. Off. I'm not going to use the tiny frame, they're too st too skinny. Oops. Oh, itchy back as well. Now this one, I think this... Slightly moved, but it's okay. So, this one I'm placing down flat. So, so just a bit of all purpose in the middle, tacky glue on these four corners, turn it over, this one's coming over this side, about there hopefully, move that over. Going to cut that out. Sorry, concentration. And then 
to cut that like that. And then bring in my tape again. This time I'm going to go as close to this edge, this side. And I think what I'm going to have to do is just cut that off rather than try and go around this one. Same around all of the four edges. There we go. Make sure that's burnished down just so it's easier to get the backings off. Burnish all four bits and you should be able to get the backing off. And the thing with this backing, red backing, is it clings to my hand. It's like it doesn't want to let go. Pull that backing off. See, it sticks to me. I'm going to stick it there for a minute. Sometimes I use my pokey tool or the three in one brush, which has got the pokey tool on it, to get these backings off. Sometimes the Burnisher does that as well. Oh, nearly stuck that on there. So, snowy side up. Stick that onto there, bring this back in, and then that's going to go. Hmm, didn't put that over far enough, did I really? Oh, it's going to work, it's okay. Yeah, it'll work, it'll work, it'll work, guys. I don't know whether this is too fat. Yeah, so I'm going to come in with the hunky dory foam pads again. I might come in with a bit thicker this time rather than the skinny ones. And go right across. And right across. Do you know what? These hunky dory ones are well sticky. It's stuck to my arm now. And I don't want you on there.
just sticking these down. Pull them off, pull that back in off. I'm sweating, guys. Getting a bit hot in here. And I think that might be a little bit of a problem there. I might have to go double foam. On this one. of these I find that the backings come off of these ones a little bit too easy for my liking so you don't get chance to chop any excess bits off that you don't need before the backing that you need to pull off comes off Probably going to be too short now. I'll see. Okay. So I'm going to sprinkle some of this on. I'm not going to put as much as I did on the other one, I don't think. Give us a bit of a thing you did, 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 and then if my head gets in the way. I'm so sorry. And then place that over the top. Hopefully, it's going to stick and not have any gap. And then there you go with the shaker. So that is another way of doing it. There is other ways I've seen people make shakers. But I might have to look into a few more videos of doing a shaker card. Because as I say I've not really made that many shakers to be fair. Probably only made about two in the past. So I was trying not to cover that penguin over but. Not much I can do about him, to be honest. So this one is, it's penguin, penguinin to look a lot like Christmas. So I'm coming in with that one anyway. And I'm going to put on a bit of foam pad across there. Now, Putting that pretty much all the way across there. Let's put another little bit on the end there, like so. Oh, peel this off. Put a little bit of tacky glue. 
onto there. Make sure it's up the right way. And then I'm going to place this one right down the bottom here. Add the gems. And then this one will be done as well. I'm just going to oh, get rid of that bit at the top of the bottle. It's on there, on there, on there. I'm going to do three on this one. And there, and there. Hopefully I can get them all out. With my trusty tweezers. Turn them over. I need, oops, need, oh, need five of them this time. Let me come in and put some of these on already. Two more. I'll get it. I think picking up gems sometimes is a bit more frustrating than you realise. Getting them to turn over flat. Because they don't always want to turn over. There we go. Got there in the end. One there, and one there. Like so. And there we have card number two. So, just put the lids back on some of these bits and pieces that I've been using, so not to throw them all over the floor. So here are the two cards that I have made with this this one. I'm not doing the other two on video. The other two I'll do as Sybil Jane would say behind the scenes or behind the camera. Um, as you can see I've got them two there that are left for me to work with and finish that top off. Oh I forgot to say what that one was wasn't I? It's a Christmas wish topper. So yeah them two cards to finish that section off will be done off screen um, and then I'll come back in with the next topper which is uh, snow adorable so that would be my next one so that is it for this one guys um, thank you for watching and as always I do appreciate every single one of you I do appreciate all the support that have been that you've been giving me since you know, I more or less started. Some of you have been with me from the beginning. Um, I know Sybil Jane has been with me with the, for the whole year that I've been doing the YouTube channel. So, anyway guys, as always, thank you for your support. Until the next time, take care and have a great day. Bye for now.